Okay, this is what Austin's about today. It is like three weeks ago our sewing machine broke. We finally got it back, finally, so I get to sew. Yes. Today I'm taking this shirt. I'm gonna cut it up, alter it a little bit, and make it into something better. So I mark the neckline and the arm line. I only do one side, so I can flip it over and do the other side. Sorry, my bird really loud. He's singing. Okay, now we'll do the other side. You have to move. You have to move. You have my t-shirt. Move, 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 move. Me, 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 me. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, so this is the completed back neckline and the one side of the shoulder. And make sure that this edge matches the same one on the front. I like this front design, the swirl, so I'm actually not going to cut down there to begin with. I'm just going to cut off the collar. The back and the front. And I save the old piece. You have to lay it over this side. You need to trace it with the chalk so the sleeves come out even and you don't have mismatching tank top sides. I think the back is a little plain, so I'm gonna cut down the back and we're gonna fold them over and do a nice design. Okay. I always use a ruler and we're gonna make one inch strips. And these are awesome because they're good rulers. As you make all your lines, make sure they're all parallel to each other when you get to the bottom. See how they're parallel with the hem right here? And it fits right there. The line matches up with the grid, so does the hem. Good. So this is my design for my razor back. It's only two inches here, and it widens and widens, and those two things about six inches down here. Okay, so it's done. I cut all the bits from the top, all the down to the bottom, and the last one is this hem. You do cut the hem. Okay, so we're gonna start cutting it over and under, and we'll make our design. Okay, this is how you do this. Take the first one, and you put it under the second one. So you starting to get that design there? Yeah, I'm getting into the long ones now. It's much easier. This was the one you looped through. This is the hem. We're going to cut it in half. And to finish it, you just take the strap and you tie it in a knot around the last loop. And it's finished. It's very tight up here. The shorter the width of the stripes, the tighter it's gonna be. Down here when they were longer, it's looser. Okay, and it's finished off with two knots. And I'm just gonna cut this excess off right here. And it's done.